Welcome to the first part of our Rupert series. Icelandic Rupert is silly simple to make, but there is one catch. You have to bake it for about 8 hours. Let's start with 3 cups of rye flour, 1.5 cup all-purpose flour, 2.5 teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, and 1 teaspoon of salt. And then just make sure you combine all the dry ingredients well together. At this point you add 750 milliliters of kaffir. And now for sweetness, you add a little bit of treacle. When I say a bit, I kind of mean a lot, like a cup. Oh, here's a pro tip. If you don't want to struggle with getting the treacle out like I did, you can take a little bit of olive oil and coat the inside of your measuring jug. Treacle is sticky. So very, very sticky. And that's it for the ingredients. So simple, right? Now combine them all into a lumpless, homogeneous mass. And then at some point realize you should probably be using a whisk for this. Oh yeah. Much better. Now that everything is well combined, let's transfer this into a quality street tin. Yes, an actual quality street tin. Line it with baking paper and pour the mixture in. Now don't worry if you don't have a quality street container lying around the house. You don't have to go and buy one and eat the entire contents like I totally didn't do. Anyway, here in Iceland we also use milk cartons to make rubrith. But I suppose we can just use a Dutch oven or a baking tin like some normal person would. And if you're making a video, you can just smear on the top a bit and make it look a bit sexy. You can skip this step, really. Next, stick it in a 200 degree preheated oven for 30 minutes and then lower it down to 100 degrees for the next 7 hours. Now you just have to let it cool off for a little while, but me? I'm going to have to wait overnight because I started at 4 p.m. So how come Icelanders decide to bake bread for 8 freaking hours? Well, in olden times, you'd put a piece of metal on top of the embers, the loaf on top of that, and then a pot over it to emulate an oven. This was particularly handy because rye takes longer to cook than wheat. Oh, look at that. That looks good. And now, for the moment of truth. 8 hours of baking. Hmm, let's have a look inside. Absolutely perfect. Look at that spongy interior. Now I like to whack on a load of butter, or a bit of pickled herring is also absolutely delicious. And there we are, ice-standing rye bread. Easy as it gets.